Today we're having a look at this. This is a quite heavily modified uh, SCART to HDMI adapter that I managed to blow up. And I did that by forgetting it was connected to my power supply when I was setting a new voltage up on it. And what I managed to do was take out this chip here, which um, turned a bit red and then emitted the magic smoke. And that was that. And uh, now I'm not getting any output at all from this thing. This IC used to get really, really hot while it was running. You know, it's doing a, doing a lot of hard work doing what it's doing. And now that this supply here is dead, it doesn't get hot at all. Now, quite conveniently for us on the main board, it's actually marked that this is the 1.2 volt supply. So what I've decided to do is get one of these little buck boards here. I've set it to 1.2 volts and put a little, little bit of thread lock just on the pot there so it doesn't uh, change and I'm going to wire that into this board and uh, hopefully get this up and running again. Now, I've already actually removed this chip so I can just literally kind of take that off now. A little bit fiddly because as you can see it's quite small. And what we now have is we've got this coil here and we've got these caps here. Now these will be the output filter caps and that's where I'm going to connect my buck converter to. So I'm actually going to remove this entirely so I've got better access onto these. Solder a couple of wires onto either side of maybe the, the bigger one of those because it's easier to solder to. And then connect that to the output of my buck converter. The input of the buck converter I will connect to the 5 volts going into the board. Now the first thing I need to do is uh, probably find out where the 5 volts actually goes on this thing. And I can see that over here there's a pad that says 5 volts. It'd be really nice if I could take it off of that. So I'm going to plug it in and just measure those connections and just see what they read. So we've got a 5 volts going in on that bottom pad there. That's one thing I'm going to solder the first of my wires to. Let's just double check that. Yeah, 4.91. So that is absolutely fine. I think the first thing I'll do is just take this, this off here and that might give me something, uh, an easier way perhaps to connect my output voltage to. Let's take that off. You can see why so many people use these uh, quick stations. They're absolutely brilliant things. much better than what I had before. So we know that those capacitors will be connected across VCC and ground. So uh, to make life easier, I just want to see which side connects across one of these pads. And uh, sort of looking at it as I can see it now, it looks like, looks like that side's connected to there, but I'm not going to risk it and I can't see very well under the iPad. So I'm going to test that now. Okay, so that side is connected to that. So one side of this will be ground, the other side will be VCC. Let's see if we can find out what side of this is ground. So ground is that side there. And then the actual VCC is that top one there. So I can solder my VCC, my output from the buck converted to the top one. And uh, yeah, the other one just to ground by the looks of it. I'm just going to mark that on there just for clarity. So that one is VCC. Now I'm going to quickly wire up the, uh, the buck. And what I've done is I've just connected some wires to this DC buck circuit. The yellow wire is the output VCC, black wire ground, black wire input ground, red wire, uh, 5 volts VCC in. Let's have a look and see where I'm going to solder this to then. Now we know the VCC for the 1.2 volts can go on that top pad there. So we could solder that first. And 
and then we need to work out a good place for the ground as well I mean I could just tack it on over there I might see if there's anywhere closer to do it let's unplug this and start our wiring so we'll look and find ourselves some some ground shall we So we've got a ground there we can solder onto for the input or the output actually. So look, see, we've got another one that we can easily solder to anywhere. I think I'm going to do. Yeah, the output onto that one and the input can go onto that one. And we'll put that one on there. Let me check that 5 volt input again. Let's get the output ground wired up as well. That can go over here. Let's see if I can find a bigger one to connect that to because that's actually quite hard to solder to. I've got a few unused sockets I've removed. There you go, we can go there. That'll make my life a bit easier. This has actually been converted to run an Amstrad CPC on because I do mend them occasionally. And uh, yeah, this is quite a common, quite a common device you can get on uh, on eBay. But it's the pain in the uh, pain in the neck cutting off all the connectors and soldering stuff where it needs to go. Okay, so we now have a ground on there. Now our output was up there. So we can get that soldered on there now as well. a little bit it's a little bit close to the other pad that'll do and then I need to investigate what my 5 volt in was again because I can't remember let's have a check of that That would do. That top pad there is showing five volts. That's what I'm going to connect my input to. Like so. Well, it may not be beautiful, but if it works, I've saved myself a lot of ag and a few quid. I'm going to plug it in and just see if anything, uh, you know, blows up or gets very, very hot. Now, this chip normally gets quite warm when it's up and running. I can feel some heat there now. Okay, let's um, plug this into some HDMI and uh, an Amstrad CPC and see if we get a display. And now comes the moment of truth where we switch the monitor over to the HDMI adapter. 
and that looks pretty good to me. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. That saves me a lot of ag and a few quid. I'm going to uh, mount that board somewhere a little better than just kind of flapping about in the breeze as it is. It doesn't seem to be getting too warm or anything, so it doesn't feel like it's working too hard, which is nice. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, double-sided 3M tape, stick it down here, and then, um, yeah, put its lid back on. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Goodbye.